The last time we came to Fort Worth, it was messy as hell. He treated everybody just like they were a threat. My goodness! Only the paranoid survive. Hit them twice in the head, get back on the bus, and do not let them think for one second this is going to be messy. Two shots! Two shots on three! Two shots on three! One, two, three, two shots! Get him, go! So just coming off our first loss of the season, the uh, captain's going to get together, you know, recuperate. We have a lot of talent here, and I feel like we like have taken things for granted. Like we were 2-0 to start the season, and then we were just going out to practice. Like we expect to win. During summer, I felt like that that happiness, the joy was there. So like I feel like hey, we just need to focus on just having fun, like little kid. I mean, I'm I'm kind of past the point of like trying to have fun, you know. After the game, I stood at midfield just about five seconds and just took a mental snapshot. That was 60 kids celebrating right in front of us when it should have been ours. Whoever we're going to play, we're going to get the best version of that team like, every week. If we continue this path, do y'all yeah. see a, a ring in the future, bro? Because I do not, bro. We got to put together a plan, something that all of us as a collective can be perfect at. And I honestly think what's going to be best for us for the rest of practice this week is every single time you step out for practice, you have to have a chip on your shoulder. Yeah, we get it back today. Man, let's go. Oh, God. So the meeting went pretty great. Every person in the room picked one tangible thing they're going to be held accountable for. We're all coming out today with a lot of energy and a lot of focus. Homecoming game is always one of the biggest games of the year. There's posters everywhere. Everyone's going to be there. So, I mean, we're going to try and bring as much energy as we can at practice today and, you know, ride that energy into homecoming. That's it. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. We just won that rep. Set. <laughs> hey Evan, Javon, make sure y'all see pre-snap if it's one high, two high. Here we go. Yeah, set. Nice job, guys. Great job. Hey, one thing real quick. Ever since I've been here, we haven't had a perfect record at home. So let's, let's make that our goal going into this game, all right? Family on me, family on three. One, two, three, family. Yeah. We got our homecoming game tonight. About to head to the pep rally. Yeah! <laughs> Had the pep rally, you know, we had our meetings before the game. Tonight we got TCA, it's our homecoming game, so it should be a big game. First game after a tough loss, but we had a great week of practice and we're feeling really confident. Look, this has been one of the longest weeks of my life because I've been waiting this whole week for tonight. I know we are a better team than we showed last Friday night. But let's go out there tonight, let's have fun, let's show the world what Parish football is really about. Let's go. Let's go. All right. About to get started here tonight, Panthers, Trojans, live from Parish Episcopal Campus. In Jackson, this is gonna be a fun game. Thank you for joining us on this Friday night homecoming action. Nash takes the snap now, rolls out to the near side, has a man, a big oh, man laying there. My goodness! Caleb was reading his keys and he could see it the whole way. You know, a hit like that can sort of wake you up. But yeah, if it's a hit from Caleb Cole, then I'll pass. Now start. Rope, rope, rope. Puts a hand up right up the middle. The Lynch cuts back to the 10, to the 5, into the end zone for a touchdown. Leading this one 10 0, but already marching, trying to extend that lead. Now start. Stone with some time is going toward the end zone, has a man and is caught for the touchdown. Evan Green from Preston Stone, the 30 yard connection, and it's 16 0. 
and a very happy crowd here on homecoming. Down, sir. So first down, it's a handoff to Cole past the 40 yard line, has some blockers. The DB takes an angle like he wants to hit him. So he just stops and just throws him into the ground. He reminds you of, you know, like Marion Barber when he used to just throw people. Has a man open and He makes a ridiculous grab. I swear, I swear I over three in that five yards. And then he just chased it down and stuck a hand out. Into the end zone for the touchdown, Caleb Colt. Oh my goodness, the senior. Oh my God, Are you kidding me, bro? Are you kidding me? And they're going to do an onside kick. It went off of a Trojan. His spot battled for it around the 43 yard line. The Panthers say they have it, and they do. Yes, sir. Stone looking, he has a man, is caught by Green into the end zone. Touchdown, Evan Green from Preston Stone. Panthers make a statement tonight. Stone gets the snap. Oh, come here. Coming back and making the grab, yes, Evan Green. Yes, right. The action going toward the corner is caught. Gabriel Walls with the touchdown. Yo! What's up, baby? And we have all zeros on the clock, and that will do it. A good bounce back game here for the Panthers, and so I think this is a great building spot moving into the tough schedule that they have. Great job on the win. All facets of the game played well. Offense, defense, special teams, everybody did a great job. But now we have to keep rolling into the next week and then into the district. Have a good homecoming weekend, break it out, let's go. Yeah! Yeah! Hey, best friends on me, best friends on three, one, two, three. Best 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 best. It's a great bounce back win. Yes, sir. Had a lot of fun tonight. My boys went crazy, two touchdowns. One one-handed touchdown for like 60 yards. The, be the biggest hit I've seen all year. Yes, so it was a good game. We just got done after a long night at practice. We're stopping at the local pizza shop. We're gonna grab a bite to eat. Wh which one do you like more, that one <laughs> or that? Well, I got a buffalo chicken and ranch slice, uh, and then uh, a meat lovers. I'm not fat though. <laughs> <laughs> so both me and Colby were the new kids that transferred in. Caleb kind of. Yeah, I got here last year. Kind of gave us the hint to come turn along. We both yeah. went to school with Caleb since like early. We knew him since like we were kids. Me and Gabe were literally freshmen on varsity over there at Frisco. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so this is when me and Caleb were in middle school. We played on the same football team at Moss Middle School. Yeah. Let's go. So four years later, we're back on the same team. Right. And that's what I, and that's the best part about the season, honestly. Like some of the best things, like sharing it with guys that you've known for such a long time. When you know that you have something special, then it's even you know you really got to work for it. So like you, oh my God, you missed that tackle. That's a touchdown. That's a touchdown. That's, that's a that's a bus ride. Home. Oh my God. That's a bus ride I, home. I am not going. I'm not. I'm not going with a bus ride home, no, bro. No, sir. I promise you, if we drive two hours to Waco. I'm not driving two hours back sad. No, <laughs> I'm not no sir. Back sad. If we continue to get better, we're gonna win state. Like, mark my words. I've been using this phrase all week to the point of driving everybody nuts at the school. And the phrase is only the paranoid survive. Back in college, a guy came and spoke to us his name was Richard Marchinko. He's one of those Navy SEALs. And that was one of his points of his message was only the paranoid survive. But he was so paranoid about everybody that he treated everybody the same, just like they were a threat. Okay, and the other message he sent was when they would go on a mission, right, they didn't make it messy. They got to the point where they were going and left before anybody knew what happened. So if you apply that to today, we're back in Fort Worth. Where last time we came to Fort Worth, it was messy as hell. Our goal tonight is to come to Fort Worth, get off the bus, hit them twice in the head, get back on the bus and go before they ever even know what happened. <laughs> two shots, two, three, two shots, on me. One, two, three, two shots. Man, let's go! Back to Fort Worth, play Fort Worth Christian. It'll be our last non-district game this season. 
Yes, Coach Novikov drew up the Tim Tebow jump pass. I take a few steps like I'm about to run the ball. And I just pop it over to Blake for a touchdown. Communicate to each other and then play football. Everybody understands. Good job, Good job, G. Good job. 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 Good His own action with a you know a quick out on the outside to Evan and real quick and he makes a play and you know shows his speed. <laughs> Maybe he thought there was like a camera right at the bottom or something. Let's go! Let's go! Yo, I'm pretty sure Grubbs knew they were gonna kick an onside and so coach you know, was there. He was really, really fast. I didn't know he had I didn't know he had speed like that. Just got a good wing, it's fourth Christian. Uh, it's Dunn week. Dunn good. We got knocked off by Dunn twice last year, so this is going to be one of the biggest games of the year. It's going to be a good one. We needed all the help we can get this week. Yeah, I don't want to be any other team more than I want to be Bishop Dunn. It's losing to Dunn in the playoffs that gets you out of bed. Like, this game right here is honor, bro. Oh, I love it! I've come up short two years in a row. You know, he eats at you. That boy got a cannon for an arm, my God. 80 yard TD? Where they do that at? Where you seeing that at? Only at overtime. So check out the rest of the videos because they right here. And you got to subscribe. Let's get it going. What y'all doing? Y'all sitting on your couch? Y'all eating popcorn? But y'all haven't subscribed yet? I'm doing something wrong.